I'm very good. How are you doing? I'm great. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me today. Sure. Um, I love the series. It's absolutely stunning. First of all, um, have you hey, that's a nice of... thing to hear. You're one of my first interviews, so I have to. I'm kind of so. I'm a little bit curious to know, like, what, like, what, what do you think? This is supposed <laughs> to be the foundation background. This is the picture. That, oh that yes, I you're, cover, you're covering Salver, so I can see just yes. a little bit of the vault. But there she is. Yeah. So, have you read the books? First of all, um, as a background. Absolutely. Actually, I was. Um, I had taken a look at the um, the first foundation about a year before I heard that they were making it into a series. And I remember sitting in the meeting being like, how are you going to pull this off? Like, this is, how are you going to make this show? I don't understand. I don't understand what this will be. And then a year and a half later, it came around and they, they expressed interest in me to, to play Cleon. And um, I read the scripts and I was like, they figured it out. They figured it out. They were able to create some characters that figured out a way to cheat death so that we can tell the story of, you know, a thousand years um, with some characters that you can really relate with. And, and what was it like sharing your role with, with these other actors? Did you swap notes? Did you share insight um, into the role? Well, I, the... I, I love the way you put that because I am sharing the role with three actors. And so we, in a way, worked very closely together to physically mirror each other's movements and, um, and to, to find a commonality between them because it is the same man, but also find a specificity between them. So that, you know, they're, you know, as we move to the, I, I think the fantasy they live inside is that, they are the same person, but this is impossible. You know, it's imp that that's not, there is a kind of sentience that exists for each one of them that although they may deny it, it's still there. Their experience right. is different. Their awareness is different. Um, the circumstances they face are different, especially given the context of the story we're telling, which is, you know, the the news that Harry Selden is delivering to them in the first episode that their empire is going to fall, you know. And your, your con I think I have one more question left. Your costume is so physically demanding. It's absolutely gorgeous. But, um, you know, what were some of the, what were the physicality challenges? It, it doesn't look very comfortable to where I have to say. <laughs> Well, one of my costumes is uh, is uncomfortable. The one that he presents, the Emperor of the Galaxy, the in. blue, yeah, uh, the the blue. But for most of the time, I'm kind of wearing those basically pajamas, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Which that was that was an idea I had. I was like, if he's not if he's not on the throne, he's going to be, you know, he's comfortable. He's comfortable, and he's, you know, he's handling the the business of empire. You know, balancing the conflicting priorities. Of all of these different planets, um, but and, that blue costume looks so uncomfortable. Like it must have been really challenging to wear it. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> you know, I, you know, it makes you. I think it's an uncomfortable role that he's playing. You know, he's yeah. he's he's a human who's got the office of a god. You know, that's an uncomfortable position to be in. Well, I would I, say. thank you very much for your time.